In this video, we're going to talk about how to connect to the web interface on the Palo Alto for the first time. Pretty simple, but there are a few things to watch out for. Uh, first off, look at our network diagram. Basically, we are going to be over here on our server and we are going to connect through the management interface up to the Palo Alto in order to access it and configure it. A uh, slightly different point of view is the address table there. And we can see the management interface of which we are concerned with is right there. 192.168.1.254. And this by default runs a web server. So we can go ahead and connect to that via a web browser. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. So here I am. I'm on a Windows server and I'm going to go ahead and open up Chrome. And I'm going to go ahead and browse to that system. So that is HTTPS colon whack whack 192.168.1.254. Now, one thing to note here is that this is HTTPS. Uh, we got to remember the S in there. If you just type it without the S in there, it will not work. Uh, it will simply time out and say, nope, I can't connect. When we first connect, we will get this error message. Now, if you see this error message out on the public internet, run away. This is not a good place to be. Uh, because this is a brand new firewall, we have yet to set up any certificates or anything along those lines, and therefore it's somewhat expected. In order to overcome this, at least under a uh, uh, under Chrome, is we need to click here where it says advanced and then click go ahead and proceed. By default, the username and password is going to be admin and admin. Go ahead and hit enter. It will also prompt you at this point to say, hey, change this password. Change it to something secure. Excuse me. All right, and it will take a minute or two for it to finally load up because, hey, it's a portal. It's not very not designed to be fast, but it is designed to be secure. Uh, and we have our desktop right here. Uh, we start off with the dashboard page. Nice and simple. Uh, tells us uh, some general information about the device, the firewall name, the management IP, and so on. Uh, we can also see that, yes, it is, in fact, licensed and is running on VMware ESXi. Uh, some information about the versions and so on. Very briefly, there's a monitor tab that will give you a walkthrough of all the events happening in your environment. A policies tab where you can specify your security policies and other policies in order to uh, control and adjust the network traffic in your environment various objects that you can help to configure your policies. Network tab that helps identify the various aspects of your network. And then lastly, the device tab that helps with the configuration of the device. One thing I want to mention here on the device tab, on the left hand side in the tree view, if we scroll on down, we will see that there is a licenses section and this shows us the status of all of our licenses. Uh, so we can see right here, uh, this is my VM and I have an e-valve license that is good until June of 2020. Uh, same thing with Bright Cloud, good until December of 2020 and Global Protect and uh, URL filtering and threat prevention and so on and so forth. So I can see the status of all of the firewalls in my environment. So there you go. Uh, only a few real gotchas as far as logging into the Palo Alto. Uh, first off is it has to be HTTPS up here, not just HTTP. And secondly, it will give you an error when you first log in to because of some certificates that we have yet to set up.